Hello and welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be looking at audio recording options for this guy, the Insta360 X3 360 camera. Before we get into it, let me just state that this video is not sponsored or paid for in any way, so Insta360 or no one else has uh, influence over this video. All of the equipment was purchased with my own money and the opinions are entirely my own. So before we get into the details, let's maybe put some context around this. Um, if you're watching this video, I'm sure you're familiar with Insta360 and their 360 camera range. Um, there really are some incredibly versatile tools that allow you to capture some very creative shots and get shots that you simply couldn't get with other cameras. And over the course of the last few years, We've seen the evolution of the brand to so this being the latest version, the X3, which is really designed not just as a niche camera, but really could perform as your standard action camera or even your vlogging camera or camera that you use to create social media content, such as the video you're looking at now. And in order to be able to do that successfully, one of the things that you really need to have is good audio quality. So in this video, what we're going to do is going to look at the different options you have for recording audio on the X3. We're going to look at how you go about setting them up, uh, how practical they are, and also we'll compare and contrast the quality of the audio under different uh, filming conditions. So what are the options when it comes to recording audio on the Insta360 X3? And I should also point out that exactly the same options are available on the X2. Well, first off, of course, is the built-in microphones on the device itself. Now, while this might give you a acceptable results at close range to the camera, obviously the further away you get, the more noisy the background is, the more questionable those results will be. And again, that's something we'll test later on. So a second option is to use a Bluetooth connection and Insta360 advertises this as use your AirPods, which you can use not only to record the audio, but you can also use voice remote control to start and stop recording, which is a nice handy feature, particularly using something like this. Now, Bluetooth has a relatively limited range and line of sight requirements, so Again, this might be suitable for relatively short distances, but you would expect as we get further from the camera that, or turn our back to the camera that this might be more challenging. So that's something we'll find out as well. And of course, AirPods themselves probably aren't the highest quality microphone, but you can also use a different Bluetooth microphone in exactly the same way. So this is one that I picked up. This is called the Instamic, which is a high quality Bluetooth microphone. So we'll also be using this in our comparisons later on as well. The final option is to use an adapter and hook up a proper microphone setup such as this, the DJI wireless microphone setup, which consists of transmitters and receivers to allow you to really uh, home in on your voice as you walk around, regardless of what's going on around you from a noise perspective. So using the built-in microphones of the X3 is obviously the default and does not require any special setup. You basically have four microphones. You've got one here on the front, just below the lens. On the back of the device, you've got one down here in between the two buttons. And then you have one at the top on each side near, located fairly near to the lens. Now, according to Insta360, the algorithms inside the unit uh, help pinpoint the location of the sound, of the primary sound, and optimize the audio from the four microphones based on that sound. So as long as you're in relatively close proximity to the camera and you don't have a lot of interfering noise, there, then you should get reasonably good quality. But again, that's something we'll test out later on. Okay. 
Okay, let's go through the process of connecting, in this case, AirPods, but the same process will be used for any compatible Bluetooth microphone, such as the Instamic. The first thing we're going to do is place our AirPods in pairing mode. We hold down the button on the back until the white light is flashing. And then on the X3, we're gonna go into the menu and you can see here there's an icon with AirPods. So I'm just going to hit that one. And if no device previously has been paired, it will now begin a search for any compatible uh, AirPods or Bluetooth devices. And here you can see uh, it's found my AirPods. So I'm going to connect them. And you can see I get the confirmation AirPods connected. It will say AirPods connected regardless of which Bluetooth microphone uh, that you are connecting. Now important is that once we're connected, so now we're currently connected, you can see the little blue symbol here showing that we're connected. And my AirPods, I can place them in my ear and I can use voice commands like start recording. And of course, the whole time I'm recording, the sound will be coming from the AirPods instead of the onboard microphones. And I can use the term stop recording, which is a really convenient way of operating, particularly when it's at a distance away from you. Now, important to note, you can see on the display here that my AirPods are currently attached. So you can see the little uh, AirPod icon here. You can see as soon as I close the case, it will now disconnect them. AirPods disconnected. Now when I flip them open and take them out again, this is not like an iPhone where it will automatically reconnect them. I have to go back into the menu. And I have to confirm connect. So each time I want to use my Air AirPods, I have to go to the menu and reconnect them. So let's go through the process of setting up the external microphone adapter on the X3. So this is the little device we're talking about, this tiny little um, adapter that plugs into the side. And the adapter has a three and a half inch microphone jack on the side. It also has USB-C pass-through. So you plug one end into the camera, the other end allows you to plug in a USB-C cable so you can continue to charge your camera while the adapter, so a nice touch there. So the way you attach it, is on the side we now have this little door which we are going to remove so you have to remove it you can't just open it you have to pull it off it has like a, a hinge clip that allows you to just pull it off and then your adapter plugs into the USB-C and snaps uh, firmly in place so it is held pretty firmly in place here so once I have the adapter in place, then I want to attach my microphone. Now I'm using a wireless transmitter, the DJI. So I have my wireless microphone and my cable here. And I just simply attach that in here. And this guy somehow needs to be secured. There are some adapters you can buy to secure this and everything stays nicely in the stitch line so it remains out of sight. Obviously you have to figure out how to tuck away these cables. So let's get to the testing and in this section we're going to be using the X3 of course connected to the different microphone options that we've been discussing and we're going to test that in some different environments. Now, I should mention that um, one of the settings that I used in the Insta360 Studio, which I used to process all of these videos, is called Voice Focus. And in all of these videos, with one exception that I will point out at the time, 
uh, voice focus is enabled so we really optimize the soundtrack for the voice. So with that said, let's do some testing. Okay, so in our first test, we're going to be using the onboard microphones of the X3. Um, we are in a quiet room with no real background noise, so I'm assuming that uh, our noise should be pretty clear. And what I'll do also is maybe back away from the camera a little bit. Now, knowing I'm further away, I'm going to speak a little louder and maybe enunciate a little more clearly in order to see exactly what the sound quality is like from the onboard microphones. Okay, same scenario now um, for the quiet room test. This time I have the Apple AirPods inserted. Um, so I would expect the audio quality to be, to be maybe slightly better, particularly as I move back away from the camera. Obviously the AirPods remain with me, so I don't have to raise my voice and I would expect that to be a reasonable sound quality. So this is again the test with the Apple AirPods. Okay, now let's take a listen to the Instamic. So the Instamic is connected similar to AirPods using an, a Bluetooth connection. Um, you would expect there to be a, a better signal, a better audio quality using a microphone of this uh, quality as opposed to AirPods. But again, I guess we'll find that out when we review our footage. Uh, as I move further away from the camera, again, we're in a nice, quiet, inside environment. You would not expect to have any difficulties uh, picking up my voice. Obviously, my uh, voice is very close to the microphone itself and there's no challenges as far as the Bluetooth communication is concerned. So this is the Instamic connected to the X3 using Bluetooth. Okay, our final test in our inside quiet room is with the DJI microphone, which is attached using the audio adapter to the X3. So we would anticipate that this should be the highest quality audio we can get on the X3. We'll find out, I guess. And of course, if I move further away from the camera, the microphone's going with me, so we're not going to have any negative impact on the quality of the audio from my voice. So that is the inside test using the DJI microphone attached through the audio adapter. Okay, now we've moved outside, making it a little more challenging, but it is a nice um, quiet day. There's not really much in the way of wind or any distracting sounds, at least not yet. Um, so again, here we're using the onboard microphones of the Insta360. And as I walk around, um, I do have the um, directional microphone enabled. So as I walk around, presumably you should be able to still hear me okay. Uh, as long as I stay in relatively close proximity to the camera, of course. Now that might change as I go a little further away. Again, I'm going to raise my voice like I did before, enunciate a little more just so you can get an idea of what the sound quality is like with the onboard microphones. And if I turn away from the camera, if I work further away, um, obviously the, not the sound will begin to deteriorate as I get further away from the camera. I'm roughly about 40 feet away from the camera at this point, uh, and obviously we're going to see exactly what the sound quality is like at that distance. And as I come back towards the camera to complete the experiment again, this is using the onboard microphones of the X3. So now we are connected to the Insta360 using Apple AirPods. And clearly, as I walk around the camera remaining in close proximity, there should not be any issue with picking up my voice. It's obviously a Bluetooth connection between the AirPods and the camera at this point. And as I move further away, of course, there's a danger that we might drop the connection altogether. Um, so as I move further away, 
you would not expect to hear much of a sound deterioration. But again, as I get a little bit to the limitations of the Bluetooth connection, uh, it's possible that I might actually lose the signal altogether. Um, right now, I'm approaching 40 feet away from the camera, which is pretty much uh, the limit, I believe, of uh, Bluetooth connection. And obviously now I'll come back towards the camera so you can hear the sound quality, assuming we have not dropped the connection altogether. And that is the Apple AirPods connected to the X3. Okay, next up is the Instamic. Now we're connected using Bluetooth in exactly the same way as we would connect the AirPods. But with the Instamic, we would expect to get a higher quality sound than we would with AirPods. I guess we'll find that out. As I walk around the camera, you would not expect to hear any deterioration of the sound. And as I move further away, again, you would not expect to hear significant deterioration until I get to the limitations of the Bluetooth communication, which is typically around 30 to 40 feet. About 40 feet away from the camera, and I guess we'll find out exactly how good the sound quality is at this range. Uh, if the uh, hopefully the or the connection doesn't drop altogether, but again, this is the experiment using the Instamic connected by Bluetooth to the X3. Okay, now we are using the DJI microphone, which is hardwired into the microphone adapter. So in theory, this should be the best audio quality. And of course, again, as I walk around the camera, you would not expect to have any impact on the sound quality, regardless of which direction I am facing. So as I walk further away, again, I'm assuming that we have a pretty good connection. I've previously done a distance test on this. I actually made it all the way to the hut you see in the background possibly, uh, which is about 70 meters away. Um, this is a mere 30-40 feet away from the camera today, so I'm not expecting to have any negative impact in sound quality as I get to about 40 feet and obviously then start coming back towards the camera. We're going to see exactly what the sound quality is like and compare that to the other ways of connecting audio through the X3. So again, this has been the DJI microphone hardwired into the X3. So in the next test, we're going to be introducing some noise and seeing how well the microphones pick up the sound of the voice over and above the noise. And here is where we're going to show the example where we have voice focus turned off and voice focus turned on. So the next two clips will be identical using the onboard microphones, the first one with voice focus turned off and the second one with the voice focus turned back on again. Okay, now I'm gonna change things up a little bit. I've introduced a little bit of noise. You can probably hear over there, I've got my shop vac running in the garage to simulate a noisy environment. And obviously now with the built-in microphones, I would fully expect as I get further away from the camera, also to the noise source that at some point you're going to lose me completely. Even if I try speaking really loudly, I'm guessing that it's going to be really difficult to keep me up over and above the noise source. So now again, we're using the built-in microphones on the X3 in order to do a noisy background experiment. Okay, now I'm going to change things up a little bit. I've introduced a little bit of noise. You can probably hear over there, I've got my shop back running in the garage to simulate a noisy environment. And obviously now with the built-in microphones, I would fully expect as I get further away from the camera, closer to the noise source, that at some point you're going to lose me completely. Even if I try speaking really loudly, I'm guessing that it's going to be really difficult to pick me up over and above. So now, again, we're using the built-in microphones on the X3 in order to do a noisy background experiment. Okay, let's see how the Apple AirPods deal with the noisy background environment. Again, we're not going to do the complete repetition of the previous test, 
but I'll walk closer to the noise source and presumably you should be able to hear my voice over and above the noise a little bit better than you did with the built-in microphones. Again, I'm coming back towards the camera now using the Apple AirPods connected to the X3, looking at audio quality in a noisy background. Okay, now on to the InstaMic for our noisy background test. So the InstaMic here connected again using Bluetooth in exactly the same way as AirPods. Be interesting to see if it is indeed superior to the AirPods and how it compares to the DJI microphone. So I'm moving again away from the camera towards the sound source using the InstaMic. I'm about 30 feet away and very close to the sound source. So interesting to see how my voice sounds uh, when we look at this and review this later on. So this is the test of the InstaMic with a Bluetooth connection to the X3. So let's see how the DJI microphone heals with the noisy environment. So I'm going to back away and again I'm assuming that we're going to maintain a pretty good connection and audio quality uh, regardless of as I get closer to the noise source. I, uh, you can hear hopefully still my voice loud and clear over the background noise that's running over here. So again this is the DJI microphone in a noisy environment looking at the audio quality when connected to the X3. So having been through the various clips multiple times, using headphones and really focusing in on the sound quality, um, also switching back and forth between different clips to really compare and contrast the sound, this is basically what I have found. First up, uh, using no external microphones, so just using the built-in microphones of the X3, or in this case, the X2. I found the sound quality was okay, uh, certainly good enough if you don't have any alternatives, uh, and certainly as long as you stay within relatively close proximity to the camera. Um, inside, I found the sound very echoey. Um, it definitely performed better outside, and I was pretty impressed with how well the voice focus algorithm worked. And actually, if you listen to the final test where there's the noise in the background, um, you can actually hear the algorithm working to separate my voice from the background noise at times. Again, certainly not a good option if you're going to be further away from the camera or if you have some background interfering noise. Uh, when voice is important for your soundtrack. Next up, the AirPods. Um, honestly, not impressed. Um, I would have expected better from quite an expensive product, and I guess it comes down to the, the design of the microphone, which is primarily intended for speaking over the phone on using an iPhone. Uh, and that's basically what it sounded like. If you listen to all of the clips inside, outside, with and without the noise, the voice comes across similar to what you would hear somebody talking to you over the phone. Um, on the upside, um, the Bluetooth connection was very robust. As I walked 40 feet away and turned around, there was a couple of drops uh, in the signal, but overall it was a pretty robust signal, so that was definitely a plus point for the AirPods. Um, generally pairing AirPods, um, Oh, and this is more of an Insta360 problem than it is uh, an AirPods problem, but it is quite difficult to get your device connected uh, in the menu for the first time. Once it's connected, it's much easier. But if you think about having your AirPods and you're going to use them on your phone, you have to go back and forth between your phone and the uh, Insta360. Uh, that in itself also is quite challenging. Now you could buy a dedicated pair of AirPods just for your Insta360, but if you're gonna spend that kind of money, I would definitely uh, recommend the InstaMic. And that brings us to the InstaMic. Now here in terms of sound quality, I was very impressed and, and essentially I would say there's no discernible quality difference between this and the DJI, in, at least in the tests that I ran under the conditions that I ran them. Um, there were definitely issues when it comes to the Bluetooth connection. 
um, as I got far away from the camera, particularly when I turned my back and blocked the line of sight to uh, the Insta mic, uh, you could hear some uh, quite a significant amount of dropouts there. So I would say Insta mic is an excellent choice, excellent sound quality, as long as you're going to remain within a reasonable distance and of course don't turn your back on the camera. Another sort of slight gripe, and this is definitely an Instamic problem, is that the operation, you've got this single button and lights that come on and then they go out automatically or they stay on sometimes, it's not very intuitive. So sometimes, and I actually did this a couple of times myself, sometimes you start things or you think you start things and you're not actually recording any sound and you have to do it all over again. So just a, a word of warning there. And finally, using a full wireless microphone system such as the DJI where you have a dedicated transmitter and one or more receivers. Um, I would say this, this is going to be the best quality you can get in terms of hooking up a microphone to your Insta360 camera. The sound quality between this and the Instamic in our tests were quite similar, but I would say that the degree of customization that you have, if you go into the submenus and play around, uh, you can probably optimize it maybe a little bit better, maybe not, um, with the DJI. The DJI also offers uh, a couple of features that the Instamic doesn't. Using Instamic as a Bluetooth, you can only record in mono, whereas on the DJI you can record in stereo. You can also record what's called a safety channel. So if you do stray too far away or have some kind of sound problem uh, using uh, what goes into the camera, you also have a backup recording on the microphone itself. So that's uh, obviously another advantage of a dedicated system like this. Um, clearly, the, one of the big advantages of using uh, in this case the DJI, is its range and the robustness of the signal. As I mentioned, I did some uh, other reviews where I tested the range of the DJI microphone and I was able to get well over 100, 150 feet without seeing any kind of deterioration in the sound quality or the signal. So this is certainly a better option if you're going to be further away or you uh, expect encountering any kind of obstructions uh, with your sound. One of the big downfalls of uh, using a wireless setup like this is this, basically. I find this very complex and awkward and certainly not something I feel good about carrying around where it might bump into something and you're gonna cause some damage to some pretty expensive equipment like this. On a tripod, no problem, but again, carrying around, this is certainly not the best solution that's probably much more of an Insta360 problem than it is a DJI problem. So just to wrap up, I'd just like to make a final uh, point that hopefully will make its way through to some of the people at Insta360. Um, when I first started looking for an external microphone capability for my then uh, 1X2, I found one of these, this is the one for the X3, but they had basically the identical solution for the X2. Um, and I thought to myself at the time, this is an afterthought when it comes to attaching a microphone. So I was very disappointed when it, they brought out exactly the same solution for the X3. And it doesn't stop there. Um, when you look at the Bluetooth options, and I talked about some of the challenges here, it is pretty difficult to actually pair a Bluetooth device with your Insta360 and once it's paired there's a lot of going into menus and re-enabling it in order to use it each time. Another point that I maybe should have mentioned earlier on is you can only connect one Bluetooth device at a time to a one a Insta360 camera. That means for example if you have the Bluetooth remote you can't use the Bluetooth remote and AirPods or an Instamic at the same time. You have to disconnect one in order to be able to use the other. And of course, back to this solution, you know, this is not an elegant solution. Now, if you want to see a good example of an elegant solution, look no further than this guy. So this is the DJI Pocket 2 gimbal camera. Now, if you buy this as what's called the creator combo, you get a couple of things. Firstly, you get this little extension to the handle, which frankly still leaves it 
tiny in its format. And this little handle provides a couple of things. It provides Bluetooth functionality. It has a three and a half millimeter uh, external microphone jack on it. But it also is a receiver for a dedicated wireless microphone. So this also comes as part of the Creator Kit. So this is the wireless microphone. It has an on-off button, and you can also see there, there's also a remote button on it. When I power the microphone on, it automatically connects to the DJI Pocket 2 and disables the onboard microphones. When I press the remote start button, it starts the recording, and of course this works at long distances away from the camera. When I press it again, it stops the recording, and if I turn off the microphone, it turns off the microphone and now re-enables re the onboard microphones of the DJI Pocket 2. All flawlessly, comes prepared, no messing around, no going into menus, it just works. The other thing is, this is not a Bluetooth microphone, this is a dedicated wireless microphone using 2.4 gigahertz, so it has a, an extremely good range. I took it out and did some basic tests on it, went way further than I did with a Bluetooth microphone, 50 feet, turned around with my back to it, no problem at all. So again, hopefully somebody from Insta360 sees this, this is the type of solution that I would really like to see on the X4 or whatever the next product generation is from Insta360. Thank you so much for watching and reaching the end of the video. Um, if you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button, it certainly helps us out and consider subscribing to the channel where we plan on posting many more reviews and videos all around the topics of technology and travel. Thank you again.